For the next one, we want to find the equation of a line that goes through this point, negative 3, negative 5, which I've plotted down here, and is parallel to the line y equals 1 third x plus 1. Parallel meaning two lines that don't cross. And so we can imagine that our line's going to look something like this, two lines that are never ever going to intersect. Um, and so the thing about parallel lines is that they are going to have the same slope. If they're not going to cross, they have to rise. Um, they have to increase by the same amount each time. And so our parallel slope is also going to be the same slope as this line. The slope of this line, if you can recognize this is y equals mx plus b, recognize this as the slope. And so I'm going to use the same slope in my new equation. Now, it might not go through the same y-intercept, and so we're going to have to find a new one. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to use y equals mx plus b and say, OK, I know that the slope is still going to be 1 third. And then negative 3, negative 5 has to be a solution of this line. And so if I plug in negative 5 for my y, negative 3 for my x, and then find my new y-intercept, I can multiply these out. So negative 5, 1 third of, a thir of 3 is just 1. 1 third of negative 3 is negative 1. If you also want to stick a 1 underneath this, you can multiply 1 times negative 3 and 3 times 1. Either way, it simplifies to negative 1. If you add your 1, you get negative 4 equals your b. And so this is our new y-intercept, and so it's going to cross right here, which visually makes a lot of sense because I can draw my line just like this, and I've got some parallel lines. So our new equation that's parallel is y equals 1 third x minus 4.